Welcome back to Bows Worth Under Favorites. I said last week that I would fly something German, and I held on something for a little while. I really like Germany for a few reasons that you probably wouldn't suspect. They have some very nice, I, I consider them kind of troll planes, um, but they're definitely something you have to use the correct way, and then you have to have discipline, you have to have a lot of luck too. And we're going to go through right now and show you a plane that a lot of people I see in the forums and Reddit say sucks. They don't, you know, a lot of people don't understand it. And also there's a certain way to use it and you have to upgrade it a lot to have any success. So without further ado, you will see underneath this little uh, tree right here that you have the A8 and then you have the F8. Well, why is the F8 in, underneath the A8? Uh, to my knowledge, the F8 is a kind of, um, it's either redesignated or they came out the factory line. I'm not quite sure on that one. My German aviation history is, history is a little fuzzy, fuzzy on that one. But the F8 is a ground attack variation of the A8. Um, it had its engine changed around a little bit, so it had had better low altitude performance. And then it had some of the guns removed. I believe it's what this thing had. There's four 20s on the uh, A8. There's only two 20s on the F8. That's because they put hard points underneath. And I know that there's a bunch of variations of the F8. There's F8 U1, U2, U3, etc. I know those are all different variations. I'm not 100% sure which one this is based off. I don't think the other F8s are going to come to War Thunder anyway. But regardless, you have, uh, let's put this up. I will show you why. This plane's great. So it's, like I said, it's not very good performance in the air. It won't win you dogfights. But it has these big plump looking beauties on it right there. When you, whole point of flying this plane is to grind through as fast as possible to the R3 modification right there. Mm -mm. Love me those Mark 103s. Why is the Mark 103 30 millimeter better than the Mark 108s? They're longer, they're higher velocity, and it's the same cannon that is used on the HS 129B-2, and I believe that's what the uh, ME, yeah, ME 410 uh, B6R3s that everybody loves is firing those as well. So you have the punch of a twin engine fighter in a single engine. So let's go take this into a game. And let's hope you have to have a little bit of luck. So since this is labeled as an attacker, you'll get air starts, which is really good. Uh, if you don't get that air start, you kind of be suffering. But um, let's kind of go uh, as I consider, you know, air mark air quotations trolling. Let's get this bad boy in the game. All right, it appears we have our game. It's Berlin, which means I will get an air start, which is very good news for me. I should be able to catch maybe one or two bombers uh, real quickly. 13 millimeter belts you want to put on stealth, and then I use air target, air target. That seems to work the best. And then I immediately want to load into Berlin, turn my airplane to the right, and head towards those uh, B-17s, maybe Lancaster. Uh, spawn will be right over there. Should be able to see a star eventually. But you'll see those big girls. Those big girls have to answer to that. You'll get 35 rounds per a belt for the cannons. It's not a lot. When you fire all guns on this thing, you really need to be ready for the recoil. The 30 millimeters will reach out and touch something at long range, but the plane bounces around a lot and you have a lot more uh, spread than you would with the, let's say, ME410 B6R3. And with the new sound they put on the Mark 103, it scares the crap out of me every time I pull the trigger. I'm not used to it. I'm used to the old sound. Look at that roll rate. It's crazy. Uh, I know this plane comes with like a lot of bombing options. I never had any success with die bombing with this thing. Um, when you strap a bomb to her, and strap, a, strap a bomb to unupgraded F8, um, the plane almost feels, you know, just overweight and sluggish and. Uh, Sometimes you can't even pull out of the dive with that thing. So, that's what we're using it for right there. Boom. I know it's a ground attack aircraft, but don't use it for ground attack is my advice. Hopefully I can get above the clouds here. I'm going to guess the bombers are probably going below the clouds though, in typical B-17 fashion. Um, let's see. Come on, clear out. Clear up weather. There we go. That's better. All right. Let 
Where are you, bombers? Really need to clean the monitor. Really need to clean it. Let's see. Uh, nope, we need to go a li little bit more to the right. There's Spitfire. Awesome. And there's P-51. Let's say hello to that P-51. This is going to work out after all. Ah, P-51. I don't think he sees me. Oh, I, I kind of feel bad. Well, that's the wrong button. Oh, never mind. 30 millimeter. That works. All right. Let's roll left here. That's the Peshka. So dirty. Oh, he seems to have weakened. He's shooting his guns now. There was a Spitfire over there, but I'm not going to hang around. B-17, there we go. That's what we're coming for. Come here, big girl. Ooh, LF Mark 9. It's premium. Or B-17. Now that I have the taste for fighters, I might have to try it, see if I can get a second one. Ooh, Bearcat. Ooh, all the goodies. Let's see if I can catch that F-8. That 190's laying into him. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to run and dive. He's going to right towards me. Where is he? Come here. I got to get through these clouds. Where'd you go? There you are. Roll right. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Whoa, we almost hit each other. There's a mosquito. Let's see if that T-152 can get him. Hopefully that T-152 can get him. I'm going to keep going for this P-17. That was the original mission, anyway, that I was set out to do. Hey, my Mustang just landed. That's kind of funny. Alright, B-17. I don't want to get in from behind him. I want to put my heading in front of him. So hopefully I can come in from the side. Oh, this is a... This is an experienced B-17 pilot. He wants to get his tail on me. So I'm going to keep... Look at that. It's already shooting at me. Three quarters of a mile out and he wants it. Alright, buddy. Oh, he's gonna churn. I'm just gonna keep slightly out of range. I gotta let my engine cool down anyway. Changing heading. Shinny and the bots behind me. Alright, let's get lower. I do not want to deal with Shinya. Go home, Shinya. Tattoo's looking for you. Ah, 
I really want War Thunder someday to get rid of these bots. Something that players have been asking for for a long time. This is why. I mean, I have a mission to kill that B-17. And Shinya's probably been chasing me since the very beginning of the round. What the hell is Shinya doing? Are... Now she... Okay. I'm, I'm literally scratching my head. Back to the business at hand. Because now i got a B-17 trying to dock up the International Space Station over time here. Now he's turning. What is this guy doing? <laughs> of course, he is surrounded by... Look at that. 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190 TA 152, 109. So I, I can understand his... Uh, deep, deep concern. But come to me, B-17. We can party. I am cooking this engine, but I want this kill. I want the B-17 flesh. Even if it kills me. Alright. I need to get about half a mile to be any type of combat effective. He is lighting up that other 190. That's good for me. What the hell was that from? Wow, they're all firing at him. It's like Star Wars. I don't... Oh man, look at that. Uh, Alright. I don't want to fire from this range, because I don't want to waste the ammo. i got 66 rounds for the 30mm. Gotta get closer. Get closer. See if that door gets anything. Closer. Here we go. This looks good. Yeah, baby. Woo! That's why I use Mark 103s. Right there, kids. He doesn't look good. Ah, frick. He just took out my engine. That's what I was talking about. 190s. They have the most fragile engines, and I had to stick around and watch him go down. And he took me out. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately head for that airfield over there. I should be able to make it back, but this thing gets nicked and it goes down. But like I said, you'll see me. I'll put up a clip here in a minute of me doing a head on attack uh, with the 190 against fighters. This is the one plane that I will say it's a green light to go for head-ons, um, but this is just a fun, fun airplane. When I say trolling, I mean, you know, you just, people think you're a normal 190 because they can't see the F-8, and uh, you still, I guess I still have some rounds. Um, oh, there's still one guy left, so I won't fire them. I might actually need them, but oh, I love that sound, those 30 millimeters. Here we go. We need. I need to land. There's a Tu-2. Okay, it's coming right this way. Oh my gosh! Landing gear blew off. This is failure. Wow! Come on, airplane, land. Land as long as you have one wing in this current build, you'll be repaired. All right, 39 seconds. That all right, kids? Don't drop your landing gear at 190 at that speed. Such a noob, such a noob. I mean, <sighs> fly jets all day and then switch to a prop plane and that's what happens, you know. Look at that TU-2 coming my way. He's gonna try and strafe me. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. I mean, I can't do much in my current state, but in seven seconds I can. Look at that TU-2. No, 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 comrade, no touch. No touch TU-2. All right, take off, I'm facing the wrong way. 
It doesn't look like he's coming this way. He's just going to go for that bombing point. Okay, he got it. It's like Berlin PD over there. And we are up. And because he, he's heading away from me now. I mean, these guys gotta be able to handle a TU2. I can't believe I fricked up that landing. Wouldn't be watching boat time unless the airplane was flipping through the freaking air with no landing gear on it. Alright, the race is on. We have to have enough airplanes over there to kill him. Oh, looks like he's critically damaged and he's going down, so. Like I said this is a fun plane. Upgrade it, use it, have some fun. This is one of the uh, highlights in the game that I think is, or at least highlights in the German tech tree that I think that a lot of players don't seem to uh, know about. So like I said, uh, thanks for watching. Next week I will do a Russian aircraft and then I'll show you the two the clips of the uh, head-ons. Oh, well, so first got to show you what I got for rewards for those two aircraft kills. So P-51 and a B-17 kill. Ring it up with a premium account, 40,000 lines earned. Um, what's the bonus on this plan? I actually didn't look. It's a research bonus 60%, so it's not the uh, greatest. Where the hell is my research points? Like, that, that's what I'm looking for here. All right, vehicle research, 6,200. So, you know, it's a fun plane. This is one plane that it's 100% green light to head on with. I'm going to fire up the weapon, see if I can catch this guy. Come on, please, please. Here you go. Come to Papa. Come to Daddy. Daddy like. Daddy like. All right, and we got a furball forming here. Let's go, P-63. You hungry? Yeah, you are. Oh, listen to that sound. Oh shit, head on. That's the problem with head-ons, fuck. Uh, 